barometer. They both played Duke three games, Texas A&M two games, but this is the most comparable opponent they've come across, the most pressure defense they've faced. It's going to be interesting to see who comes out on top today. And Duke in their white. Texas A&M in the maroon. Great to be with you on ACC Network Extra for this SEC versus ACC women's basketball tilt. Bowles bounce pass down. Coresdale out of this game day to day according to Coach Lawson. So back into the starting lineup is last year's ACC freshman of the year. Dave Wilson with Brown, Volker, Oliver, and Taylor. That's the starting lineup for Coach Lawson. And the home team, the Duke Blue Devils. Day Wilson drops it down low. Up and in. Good little move that time as the finish there from Brown. And that's a nice sign for the Blue Devils going in low post. Kennedy Brown, the 6'6 junior transfer from Oregon State. Nice little hook shot around the basket. Bowles, Green, Jones, Barker, and Patty, and finished at the rim there by Barker. Joni Taylor talked to us about taking good shots, and I don't know if she would call that a good shot. It's it's knowing when to shoot, knowing when you have rebounders, taking the best possible shot for your team, and looking for a high-low opportunity there for Duke. Really high, had a lot of space, throw that ball to the rim, easy bucket, and here comes Duke's press, full-court man. See how the Aggies handle it this time. High low executed perfectly to give Duke the two point lead. Setting for three and buried there by way of Canada. The aforementioned Day Wilson. Beating the press with the dribble and some quickness. Bowles has another three. Just break through that press, find her with her feet spotted up, and she's hit back to back threes. Six of the eight points for double zero, who is. Keeping an eye now defensively on number 24, Richardson. Richardson has ties. To can take the lead again. Taylor forced that one. Wow. You talk about that power of Barker. She'll give it right back, though, and Taylor will finish this one. It's this easy opportunity for Celeste Taylor. Duke up two. Can add to it. Good-looking shot. Pace of the game. Richardson feeling it. It's her own rebound. Needed to go up immediately with it. Instead hesitated and missed it. I like the slowdown here by AM. They don't want to get in a track meet with Duke. They want to control the tempo of this game. Duke 5 for 11 from the floor. Texas A&M 3 for 7. They trail by 6. 3.33 remaining here in the first. Stop and pop. Really nice. Hey, Wilson gets some space. Rebound Richardson with a little left screen there by Kennedy. Forcing Texas A&M into contested outside shots. That one an air ball. And if Texas A&M keeps shooting from the outside, it's going to be a tough night for them. Day Wilson, great pass. Little hesitation. It's number six, averaging 22 assists a game right now. Six in the country. Share the ball incredibly well. You see Hampton at 30. Duke right there tied with Iowa. 22 assists a game. 69 assists on 95 made free throws. That's a pretty impressive stat. And the thing about it, every single player on the team is part of those dishes. Good job down low. Tough angle. Credit coach Joni Taylor telling us she stayed this summer. She stayed to work with the strength and conditioning coach and get in better shape. And you can see she brings great size to this team. And we've got a little bit leak out there. We're going to bring it out, settle down, run the half-court offense. Green. Green wearing 23. Bowles came top of the key. Blue Devils right now doing a great job not letting... The Aggies make the next pass. Good pressure defense. Barker with the step back. Wow. She kills it. Great. All five Duke players. Strong D, but the step back from number two. And three point shot is keeping Texas AM in this right now. Only down five. Under eight minutes left here in the first half. Backdoor cut Taylor. And the end. One. Another turnover by the Aggies. Just making them play at an uncomfortable pace. We just have this single down screen. Pop back by DeJesus. Celeste Taylor is going to use that opportunity to post up against the... Pressure that time. And 
Picked off by Taylor. Taylor, defensive weapon. Texas A&M needs to settle in here and, and, and execute and get a good possession. That didn't hit the rim, so the shot clock is down to 10. Patty. Kind of a four shot, but... About becoming, that's their motto for the year, and commitment to the process and getting better every day and perfecting daily habits and, and just trying to become an elite team, but it takes a little while. Taylor, Balagoon, rolls off of it. Balagoon, a lot of power. And Coresdale, also from Oregon State, not available tonight for Coach Lawson. That's short. It was tipped by Brown. Outlet up and in. Good finish. Well, it looked like she rolled her ankle a little bit, but hopefully they can tighten that ankle brace up and get her back out there quickly. Nice job again by Texas A&M to get through that press. Green. There's a screen, re-screen action. Green gets it back. Little runner, nice finish. It's down to five. Little daylight for KK Green. Rebound Balagoon. Balagoon will drop it over. Day Wilson back to Balagoon. Nice pass. Blue Devil defense again. Spot on, really making it difficult for Texas A&M to run their offense. And this is what Coach Lawson talks about. Be disruptive defensively. And they are dictating what Texas A&M does offensively right now. Shot clock, game clock, 10 seconds separating the two. Balagoon. Really positive about the future of this team, and, and she's going to build it brick by brick, and she knows how to do it. Early in the season, you get in your principles and you put in your style, and she's changed the style of play. It's going to take a little while. And today she said it would be a good test to see what her team was really made of and the things that they really need to work Ooh. on as another. You can pop it. You can do a lot of different things out of it. You just make the read. Duke with another offensive read. It's a program, and she did it at Georgia, too, called Beyond Basketball. And it's for women in the professional women in the community. They meet once a month at 8 a.m., and it provides women in the area a place to go. Uh, some inspirational speakers. She had Kalia Colley to hit Patty down low on that high-low that time. She just seems like she's getting frustrated out there. And it's, you know, part of being a freshman, but you've got to got to maintain. And when you're that good of a player, you have to maintain a consistent demeanor, stay positive. And there's her looking for the – gets another three for Texas A&M. Really sweet stroke from Barker. Six for 11 from behind the arc for the Aggies. Barker's got 13. Team on the air talking about the impressive freshman. Let's see if she can get the block right here. Instead, she'll get the foul. It'll be an and. Thought Heidi fouled. Patty, no whistle. Taylor driving to the rim. Picked up and in by Richardson. Thought we'd see a little bit of pressure there from Texas A&M. Said Duke comfortable. Oliver, that's a good play. Balagoon. I like that play. Ballad. And the defense starts to improve, and the understanding of the system starts to improve. 14 turnovers for Texas A&M, just four for Duke. That'll make Coach Lawson happy. Balagoon. Debbie, we've talked about it before. Balagoon, one of those athletes that can score 30 or have three. Yeah, I think she's a player that the coaching staff was looking for um, consistency as she's in the last season of her career as well. Jordan Oliver now in running the point for Duke. You, lo you like her game, Coach. She can score, but, man, she can pass the basketball. As you can see in action again, well covered by Day Wilson. Another contested pull-up jump shot, difficult shot. Second chance opportunity, though, for Texas A&M. Let's see if they can take advantage of it, Coach. Patty. That's a nice shot. Got Texas A&M has to pick it up a little bit here. Jada Malone back into the game for 
Coach Taylor in Texas A&M. Such a different team without Janiah Barker in the game. There's a nice... She's not going to shoot three in a row. She'll drop it. Heidi not ready to be a turnover. Probably should have shot the three. She was open. And the other way up and in for Texas. I see Northwestern will be fun. And then Richmond. Well, this is what you... This is how you find out what kind of team... Boker with the rebound, and it's 65-46. Jackson back out there with the Jesus. It's so fascinating because you just never know what five you're going to get is the Jesus. And the ball screen woes just continue, but that's certainly something that the Aggie staff will be able to address when they watch this film, and they'll just keep working at it. Sixty-seven, forty-six. Nice finish from Patty. It's important to thank the person that throws the assist. Wow! Kick out for De Jesus. Blocked there by Patty. A and M. The outlet. Bowls. Yes. Bigger, stronger, tougher opponents. Turnover. Richardson, Richardson, elaborate. Where do you see AM going forward here? What do they got to fix? Well, I think they have to get much better defensively. I and mean, they're young I and mean, they have a lot of new players out there. And she's going to she's gonna get them playing the pressure man to man style that she wants, but it's going to take a while. And, and the ball screen defense example is perfect to, to show the weaknesses in your defense. Duke did a great job exploiting that tonight. 